So unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard that the South Coast Railway System is coming to this area. Are you curious to know the latest of what's going on and what we can expect in the near future? Stay tuned. and welcome. My name is Molly Armando. I am a real estate agent with residential properties and I'm located on the south coast of Massachusetts. Today I'm going to be talking about something that is really, really exciting. It's been in the works for, oh god, tens of years and it's finally happening. The South Coast Railway System. I mean, this is something, like I said, that's been building up for generations and it's going to have such a huge impact to this area. So Today, I'm going to be breaking down everything that you need to know about these plans, uh, where they stand in the latest construction, and also give you a sense of how it's going to impact the South Coast and really just give you a general overview of the project in case you don't know. Before we get into that, I just want to say that if you need help relocating to this area, I'm happy to do so. I help buyers and sellers all over the South Coast of Massachusetts. And if you find that this content is helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button so that you get notified each time I launch a new video, I post one every week ranging from things to do in the area, things not to do, really anything and everything that the South Coast has to offer. This is really, really uh, such an awesome thing for this area. It's going to provide so many opportunities for people in this area. It's going to help the economy down here. It's really just going to help this area flourish even more so than it already does. And uh, I I am just so excited to see the impacts of this whole project and I think that it really resonates with me personally because I used to take the commuter rail into Boston from this area so for those who don't know I live in Dartmouth and I worked in Boston for many years and the fastest way to get to Boston well you can drive but then you'll be stuck in traffic for you know a million hours but you can drive to the Middleborough Lakeville line and from my house that's a solid 35-ish minutes, give or take. Obviously with traffic and time of day, it can vary. But then from there, you have to get on the commuter rail, which will take you into Boston. And so that whole process of being on the train, that's a whole nother hour. So it can take a while. And that added step of just parking your car and, you know, getting a ticket for, you know, after you've been driving, it's, it's inconvenient. And uh, it's, this whole project will bridge that gap and really make the uh, transportation between Boston and the South Coast that much easier and seamless. So I am super excited. I think it will be an awesome way. You know, I'm excited to personally bring my two little kids into Boston for the day. It's just going to make things a lot more convenient for the people living in this area. So uh, a few things that you need to know about the project. It was kicked off in 2019, was when they officially broke ground. Governor Charlie Baker uh, was one of the ones to spearhead this project and actually get it approved. The line is going to connect the existing commuter rail service at the Middleborough Lakeville stop. And the service is expected to begin and allow for people to start riding uh, at the end of 2023. So next year, we will have people be able to take the train from the South Coast to Boston. And then next comes phase two of the South Coast Rail, which is what they're calling a full build. And this will include another passenger station further south of Battleship Cove. And I believe that that phase is still being designed. So I'll be sure to keep you posted uh, as time goes on and as the plans uh, become more solidified. So there are people that are really, really excited about this project. But of course, there are people who are opposed to it. So some people uh, in New Bedford and Fall River Taunton are believe that by bringing the train down to this area, it's going to make the cost of living more expensive for people down here. And I mean, to be honest, I think that the benefits 
1000% outweigh any of the cons uh, associated with this. I mean, I truly believe that this is only going to be a great thing for this area and it's going to give people more opportunities. I mean, people are going to be able to go into the city and potentially make more money for their regular jobs. It's going to make commuting easier. It's going to make day trips easier. You know, people are going to be able to just go to the Red Sox game for the day with more ease. And I think that that makes the South Coast just more appealing in general. And, you know, it's going to attract more people with more money from other areas, which in turn will create more opportunities for people who may not be making as much money. So I really truly believe that this is such an awesome thing for this area. So if you're at all interested in this, there are some really great resources online that I highly recommend that you check out. The South Coast Rail actually has their own YouTube channel, so I would subscribe to that. I'll post the link in the comments below, and they upload videos each and every week, and you can see exactly what they're doing and where they are in the whole construction process. So that's an awesome resource. I'm also going to include the Mass Dot. Uh, website where they post the latest on the current builds. So they haven't really released the details of phase two yet because I think they need to, you know, see how the rest of, uh, or the beginning part of 2023 goes. So take a look at this. I think I said it was a uh, mass DOT, but it's actually massgov, mass.gov. So I will post a link uh, below so you can take a look for yourself, but you can see where the new stations are, where the new layovers are, uh, and also where the reconstructed full builds will be as well. So so I hope that you find this helpful. And if you have any questions about the area in particular, I'm happy to help you. I help buyers and sellers all over the South Coast, uh, people who are relocating to this area. And I truly love what I do. So I'm happy to help you in any way that I can. And again, if you thought that this video was helpful, interesting, boring, whatever, please hit the subscribe button and help me out. I truly appreciate it. Thank you guys for stopping by. See ya.